did. Did it did? Guys, I have no fucking clue where we last saved. I don't think it was that far away. Because we were fucking just talking about anime and shit. So it don't feel like I lost a lot of fucking time. I, I was fucking just brain dead going through that shit anyway. I don't even know what the fuck we're supposed to do. Uh, let's see where I fucking saved at. I hope it wasn't like four hours ago. Fuck it though. I should be back if I'm not. If you guys can't see me, I'm sorry. I should be back though. I'm refreshing my page. That fucking shit. It, and that wasn't even the emulator itself. That was just... That was just my computer saying, fuck it. You're back! You're back! Clouds, come cuddle with me. I'm getting sleepy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, what was I about to say? Let's get this shit going. I just, I want to see the damage, if you guys don't mind. I want to see the damage. Let, let's see where I fucked up. Works! I see you in there, Water. I see you in there. Water, I thought you left a while ago, man. Have you been in here this whole time just chilling? I really, I feel like I, I feel like I saved right before we got in there. I feel like I saved right before we got in there. Yeah, we're good, guys. Let me let me see something. Let me see if I got the fucking... I got the Star Pearl. We didn't miss shit. Yep, I think it's bedtime. All right, Usagi, take it easy. That classic title music, the memories, I know, right? Keep that shit on for like five years. She said cuddle, not puddle cloud. Oh, but, 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 Usagi. Oh, Dante is losing his uh, internet waifu. We'll see if that shit cuts out again. Yeah, I didn't miss much of shit. This is, this is great. This is, I'm fine with that. I'm glad I saved right the fuck there. Wait, which one am I? South. South is water, damn it. East. East is wind. Uh, what we're gonna do is walk the fuck out after we do this part. Good, predictable, repetitive anime equals Code Lyoko. Is Kolioko even an anime though? Is Kolioko even an anime? Jerry Curl got no chill. <laughs> Yo, my wife is in there sleeping. I'm in here playing video games, man. My baby is sleeping. I just gotta work tomorrow, man. I hate I hate when she has to work, man. Oh, look at that, Dante. Usagi. I'll never let go. Grab popcorn. <laughs> How far back? Not far back at all. Uh, right outside. I saved right before we walked in here. We didn't lose that much. We didn't lose much at all. I just gotta run in there again. I'm glad I fucking saved. But that was without Bolacha in here telling me to save. Excellent. Excellent. Oh wait, that damn, that damn camera's still on. Gosh damn it! Didn't even realize I was. My face was in there, guys. I. Like doing stuff I shouldn't be doing. Uh, what symbol was this? Mo well, finally learning how to damn save. I know, right? Touch the west key. The west key is fire. 
It's so good, it's painful. Mo, well, I wish I could give you one of these. Uh, which one? Give me one of what? If you don't mind, talk to me, talk to me. We want sexy Mo face. You guys don't want the Mo face. You guys don't want the Mo face. North is Earth. North is Earth. Okay, so after we get past this part, what I'm gonna do, just in case that shit fucks up and I, I realize that it's not the, uh, it's not the, it could be the computer or the, the, the ROM, I'm eating drops. Drops? Drops of what? Usagi cosplay, do tell. See? Hold on, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Usagi, that's not how we do it in Mo's chat. Hold on, let me let me stroke my beard like I'm a wise, wise, uh, what's them old uh, kung fu flicks? Like I'm a kung fu master. Let me stroke my beard, okay? Look at that, I got a little, I got just a little tiny, just a little tiny. That's not how it works in Mo 33's chat. You show, you show me first, and then I show all my moderators. All right, Usagi. If you got sexy cosplays, girl, girl, girl. Let me stroke my beard like I'm why why you can't even imagine to remember the damn word wise to begin <laughs> with, boy. I cosplay as Usagi from Sailor Moon. I don't have the pick, so I can't link it. Kick ass, round one, fight. All right, let's <laughs> mo wizard. I always, I want to be that old ass wizard, that kung fu fucking wise man. I want to be that dude, man. Kids show up on my doorstep asking me how to fight. Are they gonna do a bunch of chores and shit, and they just magically get stronger? Mo thirst. <laughs> Waifu is sleepy typing. Aww. I don't have the poop, so I can link it. So sleepy. Get you some sleep, Usagi. Well, Mo, you're apparently a Sonda master, so you can become that. Yeah, I'm not a Sonda master. I know enough not to get my ass beat. That's it. I know enough not to get beat up in a fight. You bring two motherfuckers that know what they're doing, I may survive. That's it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Night night, Usagi. I can only cosplay as uh, Toramaru from Veroni Kenshin. My cosplay roles are very limited. You want to talk about limited? Who can I cosplay? Every every black person on a fucking what is it is either like super dark and uh, like like fucking five shades darker than me and don't look right. I don't like the way they draw black people in animes. I'll just say that right now. I can cosplay maybe Dudley. Maybe Dudley, like the arms. Arms are there, arms are there. But I don't have the chest and shit. So I'm gonna just try and cosplay Dudley because I love Dudley. But there's not a lot of people for me to cosplay. Like, I'm gonna try. But I think people are just gonna look at me where like, who are you supposed to be again? <laughs> you don't have to cosplay within your race, man. You're thinking too small. You could be Brock from Pokemon. <laughs> I am Brock from Pokemon, but yes, he had a tan, didn't he? Yes, Mo, I have the same problem, and I'm skinny. <laughs> I'm fat. I want to cosplay Brock from Pokemon. That dude was a fucking genius. Over there getting Nurse, Nurse, uh, what's her fucking name? Nurse Joy's panties. I still to this day got a crush on fucking uh, Jesse from Team Rocket. If Jesse is the girl, you guys know what I meant. I, the girl from Team Rocket, I think she's fucking hot. Her and her fucking hair. Still think she's bad. I don't care. It must have sucked to be Brock. He probably wants to do something about Misty, but knew she would whoop his ass in a Pokemon battle and get a crush with her. I think that's the reason they did that. That's the reason they did that. 
Because all of those water Pokemon would beat Brock's ass. That a tan Brock was black. <laughs> all the Nerf Joys. Why not cosplay Barrett? I could definitely cosplay Barrett. Barrett's still like a couple shades darker than me though. But I still would cosplay Barrett in a heartbeat because that's my dude. I love Barrett. And I'm glad they gave him a fucking, like, somewhat of a high top fade again. Because I didn't want to have to cosplay the bri uh, the Barrett from fucking, um, what's that fucking, Advent Children. I didn't want to have to cosplay that version of him with fucking dreads and shit. So I feel like in the new remake, I feel like I could definitely go places and cosplay Barrett. Easy. Really easy. Jesse was meh. I don't know why I liked her. I just had a crush on her. I always went with the theory Brock can't see since his eyes are always closed. Uh, so he has to sense people via their souls. So he can't uh, tell Misty is even there. <laughs> Brock is the true fucking Pokemon master, man. Uh, we'll see if, like I said, we're going to give this a chance. If my shit cuts off again. <sighs> That's good, but if anybody needs that lifeline, it's Cindy. What is this? Upper defense, uh, defense against wind powers. Oh, fuck. You know what? Give her that. She needs that damn life ring, man. But that's not really shit. That's only 100 fucking health. That's not going to be much. Mo Hype, how are you this early Monday morning? What's up, Ernie? How you doing? I'm fucking, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting tired, man. Mo for Ken cosplay. Ixe, Shorepa. Here I go. I always love Ken. I could do Sean from Street Fighter 3. Easy. I feel like I could cosplay Sean easy. I feel like I could cosplay a lot of fighters. Right, but he's way too nice. You slay me, Nightchain. Brock's just hiding in Sharon Gun. Leader of the Kotsky confirmed. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy too. Getting tired, wimp. I'm a, I, I, just, I got straight out of work and promised you guys I would stream. I've been up since. What time did the kids get up this morning? But Cindy went to work. She got up at around 10:30. Oh fuck, guys. 10:30 this morning. I'm good, sir. That feels on being tired. Playing Chrono Cross at the moment. Yo, with as awesome as that music is in Chrono Cross, I'm surprised you have not went to fuck to sleep yet. I'm surprised you ain't fucking just passed the fuck out right now, Evil Arnie. Good shit, sir. Wait. Where am I going? I wonder when Mo is gonna uh, snap, because that day is definitely coming. We talk too much trash. No, nah, because it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. You guys, here's the thing. I know you guys. As long as it's not super hateful and it doesn't offend anybody else, I think that's the only time I would snap. Like, say if it was like something that usually I joke around or something like with, but I realize like there's like people that could get offended by it. I think that's the only time I'm like, all right, you know, usually we talk about that shit, but now we need to calm it down because I don't want to offend anybody else. Like, that's about it. I think that's the only time I might actually, and it would be that, and it would definitely be a warning, unless she was like, oh, what? Fuck you, boy. What you gonna do about it? Fuck you, dude. Like, um, that'd be the only time I'd say, okay, you know what? You probably just need a timeout. But that would be it. And then if you had some shit going on, I can understand. Time out. You know what I mean? But nothing, nothing crazy like that. I think one time I think I kind of snapped because when Cody wanted to play League of Legends, I wasn't paying attention to chat, and then like chat was getting real lewd and I saw Cindy say something, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like I was, I got upset because I didn't understand what was going on. I seen Cindy say something to somebody, I'm like, no, calm that shit down. Like y'all can talk about that shit when I'm, when I'm paying attention, but don't talk about that shit when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm good, sir. Oh, wait. I wonder when Mo's gonna snap. I wish I knew what I could cosplay. One day, he's just gonna be like, no, no, I am done. Times everyone out and end stream. <laughs> and, uh, maybe Sephiroth, if I dye my, hair, dye my hair silver. I always wanted silver hair and eyes. I would snap before no Mo snaps. 
Uh, probably. Dante plays no games. Dante is that, uh, that moderator that would get everybody. Ew, League of Legends is gross. I know, right, Ernie? Um, the only reason I was playing this is because my best friend uh, wanted to play it. He's like, Mo, why don't you play some, why don't you stream some League of Legends? I was like, no, I really don't feel like it. But I played it with him anyway because he's in Japan, so I don't really get to spend time with him. So whenever he wants to play games, I try to try to do what I can to spend some time with him. Right, and here's my thing. With the League of Legends when I was playing that, I couldn't focus on chat. And I'm a chat-focused streamer. I couldn't focus on chat. chat. Um, it was real... Uh, the the gameplay like I was just I was getting beasted on it made me salty you know what I mean it made me really salty because I'll get salty when it's a game that I'm playing and it's not my fault that we're losing I think that's what pisses me off if it's not my fault that I'm losing that's the one time that you guys will see me get upset my ex uh, had freaking Mako eyes it would be appropriate you mean like the green only time I played it was with my buddy wanted me to try it out. Played one game and uninstalled it. <laughs> you did amazing then, Ari. RPG music is the reason I refuse to watch your streams with headphones on anymore. Why? Are you not feeling the RPG music or is it just putting you to sleep, uh, Clouds? Talk to me, good sir. I dedicated a year to it and lost interest, especially because my favorite champion has been steadily declining into oblivion. Yeah, bright green make all looking eyes. Green eyes? Green eyes, night chain, and I don't want I don't want to say it because I know that's your ex, but green eyes are fucking amazing. I think I'm more into green eyes than I am blue eyes. I think it's the root of all cancer clouds. League of Legends, what's that? Yeah, it's it's. I don't even want to tell you about it, man. It's it's one of those damn games, man. It makes me so damn sleepy. Got you. Got you. That's why I like playing these games, though. This is what I grew up on, man. This was Clouds. These were my summer breaks. These were my winter breaks. Um, these were my summer breaks before I started playing football, I should say. But yeah, I fucking loved it. I loved it, man. I'd be in there just all fucking winter playing games like this. I don't like anyone. Yes, you do. You know this. You love us, Kenshin. And plus, I sent you a, a, a piece of fan, or not fan art, but I sent you an art prize. So you love me, at least. I just like women with eyes. So a girl version of Sagat would be a no-go for you? So many winter breaks spent at home just nerding out with my PS2. Those were the days, right? These were before my schools and after schools and before beds, yes. I couldn't do it before beds. There was, I no, my mom did not play that shit. My mom did not play. My mom, is, as much as I love my mom and as much as we are cool now, my mom was very strict being a single mom. She did not play shit. Oh, man. I love her for who she was and for what she had to do as a single parent. But die. Oh, oof. It was strictly homework. It was strictly uh, doing something. Like I said, I got with Cindy when we were 15, but I wasn't supposed to have a girlfriend at 15. I was not supposed to have a girlfriend at 15. I was not supposed to have a girlfriend at 15. Yeah, what's up, Kaga? Merry, uh, Merry late Christmas to you, too, if you celebrate that. She could have one eye, but that's but that no eye that would be covered up at all times. Got your ass whooped a lot more? Oh, yeah. It wasn't, uh, she only really had to do it once, but it was, she just... My fucking cat scared the fuck out of me, I ain't gonna lie. I got all psycho for a minute, I was about to go all fucking, uh, like all crazy. She only needed to do it once, but she, she was, one, she was the mom that would show up to the school if I was fucking up. And it wasn't really me, it was it was my sister. Lisa was the bad one, I felt so bad. But whenever there was some shit going on in school, my mom would show up. And if they had to call my mom and you know from work to show up to school, she was pissed. Yo Mo, I saw your mom and fucking your sister's in there getting her fucking ass chewed out. Oh, yeah, my mom don't play. 
But like I said, I respect her for it. But yeah, there was no video games before bed. She was just strict. You weren't? Well, my parents were like, when you gonna get a girlfriend every... <laughs> my mom didn't want no grandkids. That's exactly what she... You better not be... You you come here talking about a girl pregnant and shit, you getting kicked out the damn house. I'm like, mom, but I don't want to get kicked out the house. I was afraid to have sex. My mom is giving up trying to get me married. I think... I think... I think they're going about it the wrong way. I think they're going about it the wrong way. I think the best way, if, if you don't want your kid to get married or anything, you need to you need to press this the situation. If you do want your kid to get married and shit, say no, nah, you ain't getting no you, no grandbabies, none of that shit about my house. I guarantee you're gonna end up with somebody preggers. It, it always works the opposite way of whatever the, the parents want. I swear. I wonder, did you guys, my mom came in, um, just kind of like how we saw Uncle Junior, my Uncle Junior came in, uh, cause his dad, um, my mom came in on stream a while ago, man, and she was sitting there just talking to people, I was like, mom, and it, it's still, like, I don't get embarrassed by my mom, but I love her, but, uh, she came in and was just sitting there talking to people, she was, uh, I forgot what we were playing, but I said, mom, I'm live right now, so if you want to say hi to everybody, go ahead. She was like, she came in there, she's like, what's up everybody, how we doing? And then she got off and started laughing. I was like, mom, just say hi. She's like, no, hi, how's everybody? And she was talking with everybody. But I think I only had like seven people at the time. My mom was like yours at first, uh, but these past few years she wants me to marry and give her grandkids, got you. My dad, every time I see him, he asks me if I have a, a girlfriend and if it's Christmas, he asks me if I ask Santa for a girlfriend, aww. Oh, well, basically mine. Apple. That's crazy. Yeah, like I said, I love my mama. Like I said, there's no bad blood between me and my dad either. We just, we don't talk like, I guess, like, son and dad would. Like, I want my, I want me and my son to be closer than me and my, me and my dad are. But of course, since I want it, it won't happen. Yo, we need a Mama Mo stream. <laughs> she wouldn't know what to do. The only way she would stream is if I was playing like a. Uh, she loves, you know, like those games on your phones, like the. Uh, Dude, Mo, you are up so late. Welcome back, Diaxium. Did you actually fall asleep, Diaxium, or were you just? Did you have me on in the background? But no, the only game she plays are you know those like uh, casino games, like with the slots. Those are the only games she plays. Like that's all she fucks with. So if I had that and like nobody knew, but I was sitting there just talking to you guys, I could have her playing those games on my computer and she wouldn't know that she was being watched. And I'm pretty sure she'd play. I think she's almost like to the point to where she wouldn't be too shy, she'd just be too goofy for it. Nah, I've been lurking, doing lots of plotting. Gotcha. Plotting? Is that is that something to do with uh, programming, if you don't mind? My bro will give her grandkids. I passed the torch. It's in his hands now. <laughs> I feel you, man. Oh, no. No. No, I wouldn't. Lady Anne, you're still here, too? Lady Anne, were you lurking as well this whole time? <laughs> I, I am so sorry for not talking to you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize you guys were still in here. Oh, plotting like planning. Okay, you got some big stuff coming up for your stream? You got some stuff you ain't gonna talk to me about, man? What's going down? Lurkers everywhere. Who is this? Who is this Con Conry? Conry. Hi. Hi, hi, fellow lurker. Oh my gosh, you guys are all coming out of the woodwork. It's scaring me a little bit and I love it. I love being scared. <laughs> they got dirt on all of us. I know, right? I thought it was just regular fam in here, and Deaxium has been lurking the whole time. Lady Anne's been like, I don't know if I trust this Mo guy. And Conry's in here like, yep, mm-hmm, government time, bitches. <laughs> I got all your informations. I know all what kind of anime you like, all of that. We are fucked, guys. We are royally effed. Deaxium's got everything on us, Lady Anne. He's got all my credit information. 
Joke's on you because my credit's ass. No, I actually have very good credit, actually. And Connery, he's just, he's delaying all my fucking, my hentai porn and all that stuff to all my past girlfriends and my wife. I'm not sure if it'll go anywhere yet. Gotcha, gotcha. I've been watching you lurkers. <laughs> Look at Dante. <laughs> he's been whispering everybody. I don't know what you're doing in here, but if you're planning on getting Maurice's personal information, you are sorely, sorely mistaken. Guys, where am I? I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost still. I'm nervous that this shit's gonna... I'm nervous that this shit's gonna not save. I, I, I mean, now if I... Now if I fuck up in the save point, I can't get to it. Now it's a problem, you know? How do you fight monsters on this little ass tile bridge thing? I don't know what is good credit, but I have credited. Uh, I check it out on Credit Karma. Well, that's easy. You've been lucky. X Files runs out of the room. Oh shit! Quick, hide your porn and hentai. <laughs> Too late. They know. They know. I'm just trying to fight the Delilah's brothers. That's all I want. That's all I want. I just want to fight the Delilah's brothers. I haven't even focused on one fight. Sasuraga! Screw it. I'm cool if they know. I'm, I've always been like that too. I don't care. Fuck it. You guys. It's, it's, I don't think it's illegal to have hentai or watch hentai. I love my hentai. I'll say it again. I love hentai. My wife watches it. So what are you thinking about doing, Deaxion, for your channel? Like, talk to me, man. Talk to me. Or are you trying to make it a big surprise? <laughs> Stand your ground, Clouds. Hold your sword with pride and confidence. Um, like I said, guys, one of these days, um, we're just gonna, if you guys don't mind, we're gonna just fucking, we're gonna stream myself making highlights because... I like streaming, and here's the thing, I've been so, like I said, that's why we weren't able to stream yesterday, is because we wanted to take as much time as we could to make highlights, because there's so many past streams that we haven't gotten highlights from, and there's been plenty of times where it needs to have highlights. Talking about holding your sword and hentai. <laughs> so we'll probably just do a stream where I'm making highlights of shit. I don't know how good that'll work, but fuck it. And we'll probably make a stream where I'm editing the panels on my shit. So that way, if I have any questions, since I'm a noob at that shit, I could just ask you guys right then and there. Uh, I know that might be boring, but it'd be more of a uh, time where we can talk. I don't watch hentai. I'm not really into it, honestly. I haven't really watched much. I only watch it when I need to. Man, if I met the president, I'd be like, Mr. and Mr. President, honest. Be honest. You bait? <laughs> You probably get shot. <laughs> get him! But yeah, I gotta figure out the change in schedule when school starts. Planning some guns of Icarus with friends. You know, just getting everything set up so the transition is cutting back on days. Gotcha, gotcha. Because have you been enjoying the fact that you've been out of out of school, had a break, and been able to stream? Because your channel's been doing really well. And that's what me and Cindy have noticed. Um, with with the thanks of Imagine letting me know, Mo, quit being fucking lazy, get your ass up, and stream yourself playing some damn video games. Um, so thank you, Imagine. Because had I not been streaming every day, um, or as frequently as I have, I would not have you wonderful people to be here um, enjoying these games with me. Because there would go, like, there would be like, a, I'd go in like one time, I'd stream once, every week just once a week and then being here like what why can't nobody why is nobody watching it i met the president plenty of times and saying and for some reason that question never crossed my mind i'd be too afraid to ask him that question raises the sword like three musketeers imagine as for things i want to do on the channel there's literally tons but i doubt much of it will happen anytime soon got you well you want to see the stick uh a little dante wait what <laughs> Wait, what? Dante Secret Service. I think he is too. Holy shit, insane. I no, I really I really think he's Secret Service. 
I know you serve, but I really think your secret serves as well. Oh god, yeah, it's been fun, but it's definitely put a strain on the channel. I think going back to just two hours will be good. Gotcha. Honestly, the good streams have just been because Undertale. Yeah, but you haven't, if you don't mind me asking, you haven't gotten a lot of trolls in your channel, though. And that, it all depends on what kind of mods you have in your channel. Because I feel like I have good mods, and Reppa has bought me Undertale. But I've seen so much of it, it wouldn't even be blind for me. Like, the playthrough for me playing Undertale would not be blind at all. So... Um, if I was to play it, I don't know when I would play it. I might just play it for my own personal experience and not stream it. But yeah, Reppa has donated that game to me. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I could play it without having to worry about trolls because my, my mods are awesome. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Amazing, uh, amusing about Guns of Icarus, by the way, Deaxum. I did tournament casting for that game about two years. What? Uh, yours and Cindy's personality drew me in. Most streamers are good at the game, but are just stale. Oh, Kitchen, thank you. Uh, thinks he has good mods, but then there's me. <laughs> Nightchain, I love the, the fact that you mod my channel, man. You, you are really well at making sure everybody is like comfortable in my chat like we can talk about anything when you come in here so thank you and they're like yo if, if his mod is able to talk about shit like that we got we got dante who will fucking ban your ass in the in a heartbeat imagine imagine lets you say something stupid before he bans your ass and night chain just talks talks makes everybody comfortable and clouds just me and clouds just argue all the time <laughs> me and clouds just argue about shit because he's taller and sexier than me. So I got beef with that. And Ruppa gives good advice about on the fighters. But thank you, Kenshin. That does really mean a lot to me. I appreciate that, man. It's just amazing to me that you guys don't mind hearing my voice. Undertale? Yeah, I'm best mod, right, D? Uh-oh. D, you better you better agree. You better be I agree. She sounds like she means business. Can we, like, not say that on an internet that's being recorded? Insane? <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. R right? No? Oh, okay. Eh, trolls are few and far between. The only thing that to worry about is spoilers, but it's never really malicious. Got you. And yes, Ain, you're great. Wouldn't have made it through genocide without you. Got you. If uh, his mod is this whacked out, I can talk about anything. Fuck you, Mo. You're too sexy for me. Whatever, man. You showed us. You showed us your picture. One day, I too will have people watch me play video games, <laughs> whatever, imagine. You've been sick, good sir. We want to watch you play video games, you've just been sick, good sir. Guys, I, I'm lost. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? My voice is so bad for streaming, I'd probably be silent. You never know, I've heard of people that have... I don't want to say bad voices, but voices I personally wouldn't want to hear. But as long as you're cool and you're talking to people, I think that's that's key. Uh, it's one of the reasons I don't speedrun. First off, <laughs> I say speedrun like I could actually do it. I couldn't. I'm not good at video games like that. Um, I, I, what made me want to start doing Twitch after I found out that it was actually very hard to actually get partnered and that I couldn't make money as easily as I thought I would be able to making money playing Twitch was the fact that I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done streaming. I'm not going to fuck it. I'm not going to stream League of Legends. I'm not going to stream Call of Duty. I'm getting toxic people in my chat. I started going around and watching people play speed run like fucking... RPGs. And I'm like, man, I really want to watch this RPG, but nobody's playing it the way I like, they're just speedrunning it. So I'm like, I wonder if I just play RPGs when anybody want to watch me play it for story mode purposes only. And so I could chill and chat with everybody. And then that's what happened. And here comes the magic. Here comes the magic. Like, yo, I see you playing Final Fantasy VIII. You're pretty garbage at it, but, you know, I'll watch you. I'll watch you. I'm like, oh, thanks, dude. You're like the first person to actually talk to me. Thank you. And then I had Legendary Frank, who was in there when... I want to say when I played Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which I still have not beaten on stream. 
Um, and we were just talking about school and stuff like that. So there's some there's some really cool people that were in my chat that kind of helped me, like just helped me define what kind of games I wanted to play. I'm a quiet person and still uh, I still stream. Do you really, uh, Lady A? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I never said you were garbage at it. <laughs> Do you have a sexy face and voice? Uh, whoever said you needed a face cam, exactly, right? I'm too ugly for face cam, too. Man, whatever, Kenshin. Y'all know Kenshin the type of dude that say that shit, and then you show up and he looks like that dude from uh, Berserk. <laughs> I mean, you were garbage at it, but I never said it. <laughs> Are you going the right way? Guys, I'm lost. I need somebody that knows where the hell they're going in this damn game because I am lost. I've been in this game for like 40 minutes. Yeah, I stream, just haven't uh, much this month, but I will resume. Nice. I'm going to send you a follow if that's okay. If that's okay, if you don't mind. I'm in there. I'm in there, Lady Ain. I just sent you a follow. Begin, run, spirit, attack, auto. Where? Guys. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm too tubby that if I face cam, y'all just see my tummy. Oh, that's cute. D, please. You're one sexy person. D, hold on, wait. Hold on, what did D just write? Hold on. Mo, that's my baby. Sorry about the lighting, but she is sexy as uh, it makes me happy. Yeah, let me see this. Is this your real girlfriend? Hold on, let me see this. Oh, that's your... <laughs> that's your... That's your fight stick. Okay, my bad. I thought I thought you were posting a picture of a, a girl. I'm I'm so sorry when you said baby. Um, D, hold on, nah, clouds. It's all the glasses. The voice thing, total lie. I've heard my voice. It's awful. I'm done with you, D. I am so done with you, D. I'm gonna have to ask you to move out of Ethiopia right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to be the new mayor of Ethiopia because uh, D has lost his damn mind. You know, damn well that voice is sexy. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> exactly, Dante. Thank you. Tubby is cute. I'm a blob. Blob is a fucking beast in X Men. Nothing stops the blob. You uh have a black box on screen. I do. I do. I have no idea why, but I do. Why is alert box black? Uh, is it working right now? Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. I, I didn't know how long that was on there, but thank you. Uh, that was my alert box acting up. I guess it I guess it came back to working again. This whole time it wasn't working. So if you have followed, uh, if anything like that, I am sorry. Let me let me make sure it's still working, guys. Let me make sure it's still working. I just want to make sure it's still working. Still not working. Fuck it. Still not working. It's up there, but it's not working. I sound like a uh, Poindexter from Saturday Morning Family Sitcom. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Yo, Apple, that's a slick stick, bro. I like that shit. I'm going to go save, just in case some shit fucks up. My voice is worse than Mandark. Ha ha ha! Dexter! Guys, don't bring me back down memory lane. Don't do this to me, Net. Please don't do this to me yet. Ugh. Dexter's lavatory, man. My Dexter's Laboratory, guys. You can't. Omle du fremage. <laughs> oh, Ernie, it's actually a uh, lotion. Dexter was amazed. I'm bordering on a high pitch voice. Oh man. Omle du fromage. Isn't it omle omle all from? I thought it was omle du fromage. I'm not for sure. Lady Anne with her 69 bottles of... Ooh. Ooh, Lady Anne. I hope you're not somebody's girlfriend because that is very sexual. She's got 69 bottles of lotion. 69 bottles of lotion. 
Yarf! <laughs> Where am I going, guys? What the fuck? Well, I'm about to buy Grand Theft Auto and hate myself. Yo, I found a new place. There's a fucking healing flower in here, but I feel like this shit's about to fucking go off. <laughs> but it was a long time ago. Pretty sure it was due on the show. I'm not for sure, yeah. Do is some. Uh, D is the plural. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. 69 bottles exact. Exact, I know, right? Of course, of course the girl in our chat gets the... Insane, it's lotion. Okay, real talk though. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy was the best. Uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy was the best for... <laughs> that was probably like, what, 2003, 2005 era? That shit was fucking awesome. That was when I got, that was when I got out of high school. Like, right when I graduated, I was watching uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I love that shit. Dexter's Laboratory was when I was in uh, junior high, though. That was, that was when I was in junior high. Dexter's Laboratory was my shit. But Grim Adventures just had me laughing so many times. Written and Stimpy, um, it was like, I think, on that note, I am going to bed. Catch you later, bro. <laughs> All right, Eva Ernie, take it easy. Um, I know Chrono Cross got you very tired. I'm going to need every single one of these bottles tonight. Nice. I buy my lotion in jars, so I was confused. Oh. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? Guys, hold on. We got to Let's go save. Let's go save. Um, I never got into Danny Phantom. That was a uh, Nickelodeon, right? Ren and Stimpy was raw as shit. R Ren and Stimpy was way too raw for me. Um, I remember it being funny, but there was a part where something had happened. And hear me out. There was a part where uh, it was nasty. It was gross. Like, I couldn't watch Ren and Stimpy when I was eating. And I was young. Um, but when there was a part where something had happened where something fucked up their teeth. Like they're like somebody pulled a tooth out or something, and then you could like see the nerve of the gums like just wiggling about. I was like, okay, I'm fucking done. I can't. And I said that as like a kid. I was like fucking six years old saying, I'm fucking done. Like I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm fucking done wasn't even a thing, and I swear I was the first fucking person to say I'm fucking done. In nineteen ninety-five. That shit was gross. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he broke his tooth on something, but like you could see all that fucking his nerve endings. <laughs> and I was done, man. It was awesome though. Yeah, my mom loved that shit. Whoa, I just got gifted Reddit gold. Cool. How do you do that? I don't know anything about Reddit. You guys gotta tell me about Reddit. I get on Reddit, I get lost. When I go to Reddit, I go straight to NSFW slash, uh, I don't want to see all that, that, uh, that gory stuff. I just like seeing all the boobs. That's what I go to Reddit for. But I, I guess you're supposed to get, like, karma. Did you save? I, yes, yes, I did. Danny Fan was good, too. I thought I saw uh, Spongebob having sex with a Krabby Patty once. What? Uh, Ren and Stuffy was like HBO for kids. Uh, yeah, it was. There was, uh, what was that? You guys, you guys gotta understand, like, I was too young for Beavis and Butthead. But was that show any good, actually? Or was that just, was that just something that cool kids liked? Because I never really watched Beavis and Butthead. I, I'll be completely honest with you guys, I never, Beavis and Butthead was... Like, Ren and Stimpy was, like, for everybody my age, we had Ren and Stimpy. And then, like, my cousins and stuff, they had Beavis and Butthead because they were a little older. But I, I don't I don't really understand what was going on in Beavis and Butthead. Okay, I'll check it out, man. Reddit Street Fighter is actually pretty cool sometimes. Okay. But I just made a, made a post on our Twitch and someone loved it, I guess. What? Seriously? Also, holy fuck, the box ghost of Danny Phantom, fucking amazing. Rennie Stimpy was on Netflix a while ago, was it really? The only Beavis and Butthead that I enjoyed was the movie. I didn't really watch uh, any of those grungy shows, except Daria. She was so sassy. <laughs> it was a cool uh, kids fan show. Okay, gotcha. Um, I know somebody, everybody, 
all of the quiet girls in my high school were sitting there talking about, I watched Daria. I'm like, what the fuck is Daria? And then I remember Daria. But I was like, yo, that shit, like, we weren't, we weren't old enough for Daria, right? Beavis and Butthead was good for a show based around filler for music video with some commentary. Okay, got you. Got you. Gonna lurk now. I'm really sleepy. That's fine, Clouds. Thank you. Thank you. Beavis and Butthead's laugh was everything. <laughs> Wait, I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, Daria. I am Corn Julio. Yeah, people used to say that. I don't I still don't get the reference. I still don't get that. I don't get that reference. I'm Corn Julio. And like people used to be like hey, 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 or whatever. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? It's beef as a butthead, bro. Okay. I was way too young for that shit. South Park is significantly better now than it was when it came out. I put TP in my bunghole. What was another one that uh, came on? Uh, fucking, it came on MTV, guys. Aeon Flux. Am I saying that right? Aeon Flux. There was a fly that went in, like in the opening. There was a fly that went into her eyelash or something, or her eye. It was like really gross. I never actually watched the show. I know the animation was weird. Was that considered anime? Was that basically anime, guys? I never actually watched it. I just remember it. I thought it was like, I thought it was something weird. I thought they actually, I swear there was like sex in it. I swear, I don't know. I mean, as far away as MTV could get away with having sex on a cartoon, I swear it was. Aeon Flux, what a terrible movie they made out of that. So was it actually a good cartoon? Guys, I'm lost. I'm sorry. I know you guys are like, yo, Mo, where the fuck are you going? I, I am legit lost. I have no idea where I'm going. Did Dan take Dan Cry away? I'm not for sure. Aeon Flux, the amazing head, Daria, MTV went through a whole animation phase that was decent. Um, yeah, I never got the chance to watch Aeon Flux. Aeon Flux was like, uh, oh, he did. They pushed the envelope with Aeon Flux. So there was, there was some risque moments on that one, right? If I remember correctly. Okay, you, you guys know how it was when you were kids. You're not supposed to watch something your, your parents are watching, but you're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be sleep. You're supposed to be sleep, so you're going to sleep. You're like, I'm sleep. Like, that's how the fuck I used to go to sleep all the time. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of shit that I didn't need to see on fucking TV. Chucky, fucking, uh, fucking Freddy Krueger, uh... I'd probably beat the shit out of Crypt Keeper now, but that fucker still scares me. He get he gets to jump. If he gets to jump on me, I'm fucking screaming. I'm swinging. But Tales from the Crypt, I didn't like the fucking hallway. I didn't like the fucking the way the stairs was. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys know what Tales from the Crypt was, it was that one where he he pop out of that damn coffin like. <laughs> so he do that shit, but on your way down to his fucked up house. As you were going down, he had some fucked up things on his stairs. He had some fucked up things on his stairs that had like faces and fire in it. And as a kid, my imagination went to town. So my imagination fit imagine these faces on his stairway to hell as like the most grotesque things I've ever seen in my life. And it scared the shit out of me. So, um, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm still a little afraid of him. He freaks me the fuck out. Um. I, I just don't know. Kids cartoons I grew up on, uh, Reading Rainbow, Between the Lions, The Big Comfy Couch, Bernstein Bears, Darkwing Duck, yes, Darkwing Duck, uh, let's get dangerous, bam, bam. yes, yes, Darkwing Duck was my shit, never tried Vegemite, I have not, I have not, yes, Clone High and Undergrads, damn you Cloud. 
Um, never tried Vegemite. Staying up late to watch Risque TV is the reason I'm always late up late now. I think so too. Duckman was uh was I'm supposed to be sleeping, uh, but still watching a cartoon. What is Duckman? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. I probably have, but I haven't. Like I I, I probably if I seen it, I probably know exactly what you guys are talking about. A little mo. I mean, the cartoon that was uh, most when I was a kid was Tom and Jerry. I love Tom and Jerry. I fucking love Tom and Jerry. Don't give me none of that. You guys know the difference between like the good Tom and Jerry and that generic Tom and Jerry. Animaniacs was my shit. Animaniacs. Freakazoid is still my shit to this day. I fucking love Freakazoid. I can go back and watch an episode of Freakazoid and not give a fuck. Guys, I don't know if I get banned for it, but we have to watch an episode of fucking Freakazoid. I don't care. I don't care. Applejacks, when you first came in my stream, I thought that's what your name was from was from an episode of uh, Freakazoid where uh, I forgot what the dude said he was. He was like uh, something. He's like, did you say did you say Cracker Jack or something? He said, no, I said I said Apple Jacks. It was something weird. It was funny as shit. It was like some ghost that was haunting people. So whenever you said the dude's name, he'd come out and get you on uh, Freakazoid. So the little kid, when he said it, he said, did you say whatever his name was? And then, Candle Jack. Yes, Candle Jack. That's what it was. He said, uh, did you say Candle Jack? And then the little boy was like, yes, yes. The little boy was like, Candle Jack? No. I said, Apple Jack. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Apple Jacks. So I thought that's what your name was about. That's why I think I asked you that when I first saw you. Imagine you was booing Mo as a kid? Yes, Tom and Jerry too. All the Warner Brothers cartoons were amazing. Animaniacs was my shit, yes. Well, friends, I'm tired and I have work to, uh, tomorrow. Good night, thanks for the cast, we'll see you tomorrow. Rapper, peace out. Mo Fist, you take it easy, you have a wonderful night. Thank you for staying up so late with me. I'm sorry if I did keep you up late, um, but thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, Static Shock was like the realest show uh, for the kids. Static Shock was good too. Jackie Chan Adventures was my gospel of my early teen years. Dude, Static Shock was solid. Original Spider-Man though, yes. Yes. Before all, have you seen Spider-Man now? I'm almost afraid to tell you guys, like that shit's garbage. It, it, it's legit garbage. It's ass. Spider-Man now on Disney XD is ass. It's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's garbage. I don't I I I feel you. I feel you imagine cuz I think I think Spider-Man was a good show. But but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You you seen my room. You seen my room. You know damn well what I'm about to do, sir. You know damn well what I'm about to do. You see. You see. You see all of this. You see all of this good, sir. You see that. X-Man. X-Man. X X-Man. X-Men. Yes. Yes. Even over there. Well, oh, fuck. Harley Quinn, you son of a bitch. Harley Quinn, how dare you? I need to get that shit out of my way. Cindy, and your fucking Harley Quinn shit. She's the only DC character that gets any of my fucking play. Oh, now my green screen's all fucked up. I just fucked up my green screen. I think it was working fine. Now I'm all fucked up. But X-Men was my shit. Sorry. Oh, I love fucking X-Men. Jackie Chain, even on the uh, bad season. They were talking about grown people issues on that show. <laughs> Spider-Man is my Marvel hero, man. Yep. Disney XD is just garbage. Yes, it is. Get out, Mo. I like Ultimate Spider-Man. Drake Bell does a good job. Nah, it's too much cheesy shit, man. Yeah, original X-Men was good, too. But I just like the snarkiness of Spider-Man. That that snarkiness of Spider-Man. Spider-Man back then was like, our, like how everybody likes Deadpool now. You know what I'm saying? Like... He, he would kick your ass and talk shit. That was fucking awesome. You know what I mean? That was fucking awesome. And I feel like, I didn't know who Deadpool was. I know there were some people that knew who Deadpool was back then, maybe. I'm not for sure. But I didn't know who Deadpool was. I felt like what people are feeling like with Deadpool is what I felt with Spider-Man back in the day. But I can't, I can't say that I like Spider-Man anymore because he just, his shit just seems too kiddish, especially on Disney XD. You're watching the show and then like, I want to say like 20 seconds into it, he steps off of the fucking camera to try and break the fourth wall, and it's just so much of his bullshit, and none of it's actually even funny. Daddy pool, it's actually tied uh, 
with Simpsons for the best animated show ever made. Um, are you talking about all oh, Batman animated series? Deadpool's been hit or miss for quite some time, to be honest. Sometimes the humor is godlike, sometimes it's too try hard. Yeah, I can give you that. I can give you that. Spider Man back then was Marvel's Wild Child. That's what I, yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Now it's now it's not. Now it's not. He's maybe I mean I'm not saying he wasn't mainstream, but maybe he's just too mainstream. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like uh Deadpool's mainstream. Guys, where the fuck am I supposed to go? I am confused. Con fucking fused. Spider Man isn't supposed to break the fourth wall. He's just supposed to talk shit all the time. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like, he beat your ass and then talk shit. Like, there was a uh, Marvel fighting game that came out for the PlayStation 2 that was fucking sweet. He was all like, he came, one of his introductions was like, uh, something about, yo, you ready to get that New York ass beaten or something like that? Or a uh, old fashioned Brooklyn beat, a uh, Brooklyn beatdown or something. And I was like, yo, that's Spider Man right there. That's fucking Spider Man. And that shit was awesome. But the shit on Disney XD is just bad. I can't. I can't. I don't even think my kids like that shit. Nine and five, they know what's up. They want to go see Deadpool with me. Yahoo! Every Spider-Man thing they try and do now just uh, tears off another piece of my soul. It has no substance. I know, right? Do you remember the Spider-Man game for uh, PlayStation and Nintendo 64? Does anybody remember that game? That game was badass. That game was fucking sick. Oh, that game was fucking amazing. Uh, going back and playing it now it probably fucking sucks. But that game was fucking amazing. Oh my gosh. When you collected all the comic books or something and you could you could get different Spider-Man suits and you got that black Spider-Man. My gosh. Where's my sexy surge? What's up, Sean? I still play it, Mo. Do you really, Kenshin? Fuck. Give me a minute. You got to see all of Spider-Man's best villains in the Yes, yes. But always a big fan. Uh, do a run, please, bro. I'm bad at it. It'd be a very bad run. I know there's probably a lot of people that fucking probably speed run that shit. So I'd probably play it and people would be like, You're supposed to backdash and to wave cancel into into Spider-Man's swing into the, into the, the corner. And you're supposed to be able to beat the game in three minutes. It can be done in two to three hours. You know me. That should have be done in fucking, uh, like, five days. It was a fighting game with all the Marvel characters, right? Yes. Yes, it was on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I think it was, like, uh, was it Ultimate Alliance? Guys, I don't, I don't even know. Am I there? Am I there? Morning, Sean, over here, there's a whole lot of fucking people over here. And there's a save point. Ah, these must be the caverns under Octum. Maximum carnage on a Genesis, I'm done, yes, yes. Octum? That means Harry must be here. Oh, we're thinking of a different game, oh. Oh, okay, Marvel Nemesis, maybe. I think I got the case for that shit. I don't know if that's it, I don't know if that's it. He's the one who can tell us what my dreams mean. He must be here, right? Rise of the Imperfects. Is it? I remember that one. I remember that one. But I don't know if that was the one that I'm thinking of. That was the one where Spider-Man did say that. Yes. Because the one I'm thinking of was an X-Men one by itself. There was a Marvel one where there was all Marvel ones and where Spider-Man was in there. So yes, that is it. Yep. I was playing Crisis Core and I just got my first summon and I'm, I hate it. Like, I went through all that shit to get a fucking frog. <laughs> oh, not Crisis Core, Chrono Cross, right? I have not seen any of the summons in that game because I didn't fucking need to. Alright, so now we're on a mission to go find fucking Harry. Fuck it. Look at him fucking run. Give me that fucking shit. Only old school Spidey game I played was the one where you could web your fist to hit harder. Yes, that's the game we're talking about, Nightchain. That is the game we're talking about. That was the shit. He'd sit there and go, and then he'd fucking be punching people, and he had the like most fucked up shit. 
did they redo GoldenEye where you could play that shit online? I, I know that shit would suck, but I'd still like to do it. Alright guys, I need to head to bed. Thanks for the cast, Mo. I expect to hear from you sometime tomorrow. You still need your lesson in rating. Definitely, sir. Definitely, sir. <laughs> Take it easy, D. Like I said, guys, if you're not already following Deaxion, please do me a favor and go give that man a follow. Alright? Um, like I said, I don't care if you leave me for his stream. He is a sexy man. He's got a sexy voice. And uh, like I said, he will welcome you to into, into this town of Ethiopia. You guys have a, or the Axiom, you have an amazing night. Take it easy, all right? Axiom, bye! Spider-Man 2 for PS1, not the movie game. It was amazing. Was Carnage in that one, Night Chain? Night, Dirty Deanna? Nope, just Venom. Wait, Mom. I low-key saved, saved Kid and don't even use her. Damn. There we go, there we go. Thanks, Dante. Leave Mo? Nah, I won't be uh, casting enough in a week to hold any viewers. <laughs> man, you'll be fine, man. We always still come back to see you, man. Look at these old motherfuckers. Stay on guard when the shaking starts. Run for cover. That's the slogan for this week. You had to chase him and fight him in an alley. Also, I think the first boss is Ryo. I think so, too. Momo, remember that Spider-Man game that you could swing people in the circle with in his web? Uh, I see you didn't save. I see why you didn't save her. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I can't remember. Was that it? Was that the same one? Hold on, guys. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want it to be a, a problem of me not streaming tomorrow. So I'm going to do the good thing and try and get me a little bit of sleep. Take a little bit of nap and come back on here. So if you guys don't mind me actually getting off Shunrocks, I know you just stopped by. I want to say thank you for all of the lurkers. I want to say thank you for all of the people that were staying with me for this whole time. Um, thank you. I'm sorry I streamed so late tomorrow. We'll be on bright and early. No, I'm not. I'm not abandoning you. Nightchain, don't. Nightchain, please don't. Like I said, Nightchain, please don't. Please don't, Nightchain. Guys, Nightchain will be starting his stream soon. Nightchain will be starting his stream soon, and we can all go over there and have some fun. I'll probably be lurking, okay? So like I said, what we do, and what I love to do, is raid people, okay? So we're gonna go raid some people, if you don't mind. We're gonna go raid some people, okay? I love you guys. Well, feck, I just woke up. I am sorry, I gotta get me some sleep. We are gonna go raid some people, okay? So here we go. Night Mo, thanks for the stream. Again, you do get points if you raid. Everybody gets, I think, uh, 10 points for raiding. So like I said, if you guys want to raid, we are going over here right now. You guys were amazing tonight. Thank you so much. I think I streamed for about six hours, even after it cut off. I think I streamed for about six hours. But Lady Ain, everybody from the Axiom chat, everybody that was lurking, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, let's go over here. Peace out. See ya. <laughs> returns the hug look at she she's not used to us yet she's not used to us yet guys she's not used to us she's like wait wait this this is a little this is a little beyond my comfort zone do i do i hug i don't know you yet maybe 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 no no not yet not yet <laughs> all right guys i love you mo fist all right you guys know the raid message uh you sexy mofo in all caps you sexy mofo in all caps all right i love you guys have a wonderful night Peace out. See ya.